Does anyone recall a video I did a while back about how concerned I was of the energy crisis that we're in, that is peak oil, um, you know, the limitations to how much oil we can get from the ground versus the demand, the growing demand, and how I was concerned about how eventually these, um, new, I was worried or concerned that these nuclear plants would no longer, um, at one point, at some point in his, in time, um, you know, in the future, at some point, there would, we would no longer have enough energy to, um, to keep them running and keep the, um, the fuel rods, the spent fuel rods, um, cooled. And that was one of my major concerns is that we come to that point eventually. And now I'm beginning to realize that that's not the way it's going to happen. The way it's happening is climate change is now, um, through earthquakes or flooding, um, is destroying the nuclear plants. So it's like, it, yeah, the meltdowns are happening way sooner than I thought and not for the same reason that I thought, but the meltdowns are happening because of earthquakes, um, nuclear plants being flooded and leaking. Uh, Chernobyl is leaking. It needs a new, um, a new dome. Um, it's leaking and I don't see any time soon. They're going to be able to stop, uh, Fukushima and Nebraska all along the Mississippi, um, is flooding. All those nuclear plants could be underwater and, and melted because they can no longer keep the full, the fuel rods cool. And I see all this happening now and it's just happening way faster than I ever imagined. And, and, and in a way that I never imagined, I never see, I, I always thought that what would happen is we'd have a, some nuclear war and I wanted to live away from the mainland. So I moved to Hawaii. I just wanted to live sustainably, you know, have water catchment, grow a lot of my own food and just live away from civilization, away from the industrial civilization that is no can no longer be sustained because it's not sustainable. And I moved there and then I never thought that this would happen in Japan and that I would have to be concerned about bathing in water that could potentially have radioactivity in it from my catchment and because I live in a rain, I lived in a rainforest and I don't know what to do now. Um, I know I have to go back, otherwise uh, I'll be overstaying my visa. I can't overstay my visa. I want to have the opportunity or the chance to come back, um, not to Australia, but I like New Zealand best. It's cleaner there than here. This, this is, even though Australia isn't that populated, it is somewhat populated, especially in the cities. I don't like it. I like um, New Zealand better. It's there's much fewer people and fewer pollution, a lot less pollution there. And um, so I just all I have to do um, to get permanent residency is just have a partner, um, a boyfriend, basically. So that's pretty much what I have to focus on now is just to find a partner in New Zealand so I can become a resident there. And that way I don't have to keep traveling um, back and forth from there to Hawaii. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what else to do. Um, I would like to eventually find uh, a sustainable, um, what they're called is um, intentional community where they live pretty much locally. They grow a lot of their own food and they pretty much live how before the industrial age began, which again, I can't say enough is not sustainable. The industrial age is not sustainable. We, we can't just keep taking more and more and growing more and more because this earth is not going to keep growing. It's finite and the demand the human population has is far exceeding what we can extract anymore from the earth and it's destroying the ecosystem and it's destroying everything. It's destroying the biodiversity of everything and the chemistry of, of life. Um, 
it's nuts it's insane humans they're they're breeding like some kind of bacteria and it, they don't even realize what they're doing and by the time you realize it it's too late